Hello! We are going to be doing three patron spreads today. We'll be wrapping them up and finishing them off tomorrow. And you guys, we have so many good requests for spreads. So I think I just have some good ideas to share with you. And I'm really, really excited. So, um, I have a bunch of different things here. I do have winter collections and black quotes, winter boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans. I have some Amber Planter Day sticker sheets. I have Year to Shine sticker book from the Happy Planner as well as some Mambi sticks as well. Um, I think we're going to start with a big monthly view for Lisa. First things first, I'm going to just use my Park in Lane um, paper to glue on so that the divider is not just florals. Summary kind of florals too. We want it to be a little bit Christmassy, I think. Okay. Then just put that on there. That's good. And then my punch is nowhere near me right now, so I will not punch it with you guys, but I'll punch it before I send it to you. I'm just going to punch it so that it punches in to the discs really nicely. And then Lisa asked for a poinsettia, poinsettia, I don't know, spread. Um, so we're basically going to be using a bunch of these Amber Planter Day poinsettias. And I think we're just going to make kind of like a floral border around the page. This one's like really big and beautiful. So I think this one would be a good choice. For that sidebar. Okay. And then maybe this other corner piece. Whoops. There we go. Okay, I am going to color this out with my Uniball Signo. Um, just so that we can't see that greenish words and color through the page um, or through the clear sticker. I do think we might need because this one's probably going to have to go like this way. Yeah. So I'm going to need something else here. I'm thinking maybe maybe something like that where and then we cut it off. Scissors are beyond me. So that is just a joyous thing, if you ask me. I'm trying to get this one off, and I cannot grab it from the top. I think this one actually is going to fit perfectly right here. Oops. Leave a little air bubble. There we go. Right, and then I'm going to get, I think, actually, to kind of go right here, I think some of those yellow berries will look good. Okay, um, now for this other side. I'm going to have to cover up because this is like next December's. Um, this is like 2022. So 
I might go into date it sticker book from Mojo Dojo Plans. Okay, we do have another floral down here on this corner. Let's see here, okay. Thinking maybe this one up here. Um, yeah, I think this one maybe up here. Oh, I don't know because it goes pretty well. That'd be okay, I think. Oh yeah, that's good. And then I, what I'm gonna do is grab date it. This one releases tomorrow at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is so cool. So excited. I, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this, though. Because I don't have a ton of more side pieces. If this was a classic planner, it would have like already probably been done with what I already had. But I also don't want to put too much over here because I don't want to cover up too much of the box for her actual plans and stuff. See, even like this one covers up quite a bit of the box. So I'm going to have to like put some other like boxes in there. But maybe what I can do for this side is use some of these smaller pieces and some of the individual um, poinsettias to kind of complete that border. Um, and then maybe I do think I'm gonna need right here. Okay. Maybe I'll do like a berry um, on this bottom over here. And then I think what I'm going to have to end up doing is um, just going for it this way, put December, and then I just need some numbers, actually we're going to go like this. 20, 21. I did grab this zero because I kind of thought that I might have needed it, but I did not need it. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is just cut some of these extra off and then kind of finish up this little area. Let's see. Um, okay. I think we're just gonna kind of go for it with some more poinsettias. Okay, and then I think another big one. There we go. I just want it little over here, just because I don't want to cover up too much of those boxes. Okay, and then maybe one more smaller poinsettia there, and then a golden branch over here. Let's 
like that. All right. And then I'll grab my um, scissors and then I'll put some boxes on. Okay. She wasn't very specific about what days she needed boxes, but she just asked for boxes. So I'm gonna try to balance them out within the spread. She did ask for as many poinsettias as, as I can give her. And I feel like I've used almost every single poinsettia. <laughs> No, that's fine. Just I'm still filming, baby. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this one over here. And maybe one over there. I do want to go into black quotes real quick and grab a few winter related quotes. I have like nine of these left. Maybe even less than nine. Okay. Um, I think I am going to use this Hello Winter. I feel like that is perfect for um, December time frame. Hello winter. And then I think we're going to go with some of the quotes from this section here, like Mary and Bright. And maybe Tis the Season would be a fun one. Okay. And then I'll probably add a few more boxes. Merry and Bright. Let's cover this line up. Kiss the season, okay. And then let's do a couple more boxes here. One, two, I think three. Okay, we're gonna definitely do the yellow one over here. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna put this red one right there. And then this is actually not a day. Actually, I don't know if it's a day. <laughs> now I'm getting confused because this planner was for next year. So I have to redate it for Lisa before I send it out to her. But I do think I want one more over here, but I don't want it to be green. Maybe I'll do another red one. And then, or maybe, I'll do green, but I'll add a red poinsettia to it, like, like that. Cute. And then I just don't want one green one, at least, on this side of the page. Mm, maybe right here. All right. So I think this spread is done. I will cut all of the stuff off um, whenever I could get to my scissors. And then I'll redate it too. But I'm probably just going to use JoJo's from Mojo Jojo Plans Date It sticker book. Um, because I think that this sticker book is amazing. But it's just going to take me some time to redate it. Because it's I'm a little bit slow with that making sure all everything's right but I did put the December 2021 up there and I think that it looks so good I mean if this does not say poinsettias I don't know what does because there is poinsettias all over this baby all right let's move on to the next one 
And the next one, let's do our mini spread. And our mini spread is for Cricut. She asked for the Buffalo plaid sticker sheets. And we're gonna go with probably winter boxes from Ajajaja Plans. I'm trying to see what color she has in here. That darker red color would be good. Because cook be lit, lit, wow. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. Um, because Cricut needs a box for every single day. So this is kind of like a grayish green. I might end up just using that true Christmas green color. And then coming over to this red for these red ones. For this darker colored red one because that one looks like it matches nearly perfect. Three. I'm gonna do the boxes first. Okay, that box needs to be a little bit smaller. So that was, that's good to know. Go ahead and put one here. And then that one back. Do just a smidge of a smaller one. And then let's go to the greens from the Christmas section. I do think I'm gonna put this one. I think I'm gonna put this one right in the middle. And then this one over here. Okay, and then let's do. I think we'll do this one right in the middle. And then I think I might just do another red all the way to the left. Um, the smaller size red. Okay, so now those are her boxes for every day. And then we're definitely using the big truck here. We're gonna put it down at the bottom, but I think I need to cover this square up. And I'll likely do that with a sticker paper. If I can find my sticker paper, then that would be the best. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do instead is use some of these swashes. And then this, okay, let me come back here. I think we're just gonna try to start with some other things first before I figure out this corner. It's a little snowflake over the face there. And then uh, I think we'll do Green swash here. I want to do the bear. I love that bear. That bear is so cute. Okay. Um, actually, let's do this a little bit of a smaller one. There. With a Christmas tree. Okay, I feel like this might not be too bad right here. Okay, that's actually not too bad. And I do like the black um, layered with that. Then we'll go there. Just put some more brush strokes around. Thinking this one maybe. Right there. I think. I need a red one. So we're gonna put that one there. Okay. Now, I think we're gonna do the stockings here. Uh, only two stockings. Let's 
get the Santa hat. Cute. Mm. I want to use the snowflake, but I don't want to. There we go. That's cute. I think I'm going to put the other stocking right there. The other set of Christmas trees. Let's do the smaller Santa hat. Okay, the only things that I have is the rainbows left. I think they are so cute, which is why I just had to include them. Um, but I also, like, don't know if they, like, super match the spread. But I really want to use them. I think this one would look so cute right here by these trees. Okay, I think we're going to put it there. And I also feel like I have more space over here that I could use one at. Or maybe, hang on, maybe instead, just gently do that. Oopsies, that one did not go down straight. My finger moved it at the last second. Okay. Now, I have a Santa hat here, and I would have a Santa hat here. Which isn't awful. It looks like a mommy Santa hat and a baby Santa hat, which is so cute. Um, but maybe I'll put a quote here. I wonder if I have any small enough quotes. And I might like just put this one here. Okay. Actually, I do want to use um, this small green swash. I think would look really cute. And then I think we're just going to layer the Santa hat with it just a little bit. And then let's go into the small quotes here. Maybe it's cold outside. Actually fits perfect right there. That is awesome. Okay. I think that's it. I really like this spread. I was a little hesitant about the buffalo plaid, but I think it turned out so cute. All right, so then, now the last thing that we're doing is making a big sized declutter page for DD. And. D E I want to like D E C L U T T E R. That's nine letters. That's almost five per page. D E C. See, I'm already messing up my spelling here. Okay. D E C L. So if I want the L like that, decal uh, U, should I do the U like that? No, I can't. I can't do it. I could not commit to that. Decla T T and then an E and an R. Here's my R's and here's my E. And now I'm done with the letters. Declut perfect and then I have I'm going to be doing um, year to shine stuff but I thought that this quote note to self you can 
would be absolutely perfect because that would be so encouraging like as you're trying to purge and declutter all of the things so now I need boxes and I think we're gonna go with probably just black boxes I think would maybe look the best um I think okay so how she envisioned it there'd be like six to ten boxes over here I think like varying in size so maybe there's like something big that she needs to declutter something maybe not so big one two the lines probably would have been perfect for like writing on there three four and then I just need maybe some squares I think I'm gonna put this one that way one two three four five six maybe one more Probably could fit like one more square here. Seven. She said she said between six to ten. So I feel like that's probably pretty good. And then I think we're just gonna try to put some like of those year to shine florals. They're foils, so they're kind of hard to see. Dee Dee loves foils, so. I think that this would be like the perfect spread for her. Okay, now we're gonna actually look in the Year to Shine sticker book. See if there's any, oh, so pretty. I kinda wanna put this big one. Okay, so she said if we do like seven over here, we might do like four boxes over here. Oh, these are her goals. So I think I'm actually just going to hand letter goals and then done. So this is my Tombow kind of suke. And I think we're just going to write goals right here. G. O. A. L. S. Goals. And then on this side, we're going to write done. I might put it over here. Done with another exclamation point. Okay. And then reach for your dreams of decluttering your life. <laughs> I think that looks really cute down there. And then let's go ahead and grab the boxes. I think since there's seven and she says like she might not end up like completing everything um, in the one month like because they're just goals. Sometimes our goals don't get done and that's okay. I think we're gonna just going to do four over here. I'm kind of thinking maybe another double wide right here okay okay this is looking not too bad I was a little bit worried about it it's like taking somebody else's brain and putting it to life and you're like oh I hope I'm doing this right I'm hoping she likes it so let's try to do some more of the florals, I think. She is our um, foil loving girl. So she gets foil, 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 foil. Because she loves it. And if she loves it, then that is good. Because I have a lot of foil. Oops, that one's a little bit overlapping, but I think that's okay. Um, I kind of want like 
kind of like to put them just around. So this is really simple. But like I said, I'm not even sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> She's probably going to message me and be like, Amber, like this is exactly what I was thinking. And I was like, oh good, I'm so glad. Or she'll be like, I love it, even though it wasn't what I was thinking. Because she's just amazing. I love those like blue polka dots. Ooh, there's more. Yes. Those are like fun. I love those. Done. Maybe put one by the goals. And then, oh, I love those swashes. Um, let's see what else. Ooh, comes in washi strip too. Let's definitely use those. Okay. I'm thinking maybe down here. And then maybe up here. Okay, and then let's grab another one. And maybe, maybe down there again. Maybe like over there. But now I'm realizing I don't have any like on that half of the page. Okay. And ooh, small florals. Yes, that is like exactly what we need for in between those boxes. Just like the small little touches. Put one there. Have just the flower head. Okay, and we have a few more over here too. Okay. Again, I'm just going to put that floral there. Um, I think I'm going to take this foiled swashes there and put that there, layer it. Maybe like another one up there. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Go like that. Maybe one there. Okay. Hold the vision, trust the process. Okay, that is like decluttering quote of the year. Hard to see again because of the, the foil. But it's there. I guess I need to see if there's like one more swashy look. Um, oh, here's some. Potential, happy. I think we might be done. Ooh, progress, not perfection. That's good for decluttering too. So we're going to use that one. I think I'm gonna try to put it here. Progress, not perfection. Um, just gonna see how I could still get this one over here too, but I'm not sure I will be able to get it. I think maybe if I cut it. It would like look good a little bit overlapping there. Oh yeah, that does look good. Okay, so we have declutter. We have our boxes for our goals and then what we completed. We got all of our motivation things to clean out the house, some decorative stuff, and I think we're good. I hope we're good. <laughs> I hope this is good, Dee Dee. Um, because I think it, I think it turned out pretty good. So we have our declutter page there. We have this one is one of my favorites for sure. I only made three today, but this one is pretty good. They're all up there. I like them all so much. And then we have our poinsettias, poinsettias, which is also one of my favorites too. 
I love them all. Um, I just need to cut and redate that one. Otherwise, I think we're good to go. And I really, really love it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye, babes.